Portland Timbers' victory in San Jose exorcises ghosts, builds on team spring momentum. Portland Timbers' the highlights will paint it as a night for the spectacular, with Diego Valeri's late free kick into the right side of Andrew Tarbell's goal following a number of clutch saves and reads from Jeff Atnella. Portland Timbers' full 90 minutes in San Jose, though, played out like two novice acrobat walking the same tight rope, both wary of their next steps, reluctant to surge forward, lest they send themselves to the net below. Major League Soccer Red Bulls credit specific game plan and frustrating New York City FC, MLSsoccer.com game plan really didn't change much for the New York Red Bulls this week, who pressed relentlessly and high in a 4-0 win over New York City FC at Red Bull Arena. It was a win of style for the Red Bulls who were a matchup nightmare on the day against their crosstown rivals. Lean win debuts for LAFC, but quick linking doesn't create a winner. MLSsoccer.com In the 84th minute of Saturday's 1-1 draw between FC Dallas and LAFC, the expansion club's new acquisition did what they brought him in to do. Lean Win, who only arrived Wednesday in a blockbuster trade, threaded the ball to Diego Rossi, who slid the ball across to Carlos Vela just in front of the Dallas penalty spot. Latest scoreless outing leaves Seattle Sounders feeling pretty frustrated. MLSsoccer.com Seattle Sounders may have procured a point from their 0-0 draw against Columbus Crew SC at CenturyLink Field on Saturday, but in the post-game locker room after the match, the mood felt more like they had just lost 3-0. Halter salutes 10-man crew SC's outstanding effort in Seattle shutout. MLSsoccer.com after midfielder Pedro Santos was issued a 15th-minute red card following video review for a high kick to Sounders midfielder Alex Rolden, crew. SC were forced to play down a man 75 minutes, daunting circumstances in which to try and procure road points in one of the toughest venues for visiting teams in MLS. Dynamo goal hero Memo Rodriguez makes no mistake with late opportunity, MLSsoccer.com When Memo Rodriguez entered the game in the 84th minute against the LA Galaxy, his instructions from Houston Dynamo head coach Wilmer Cabrera were simple, match their intensity and help defend. The Galaxy brought the game level a minute after he stepped onto the field and were minutes from nabbing a much-needed road point but Rodriguez more than matched LA's intensity. After first goal, Atlanta United believe Barco is just getting started, MLSsoccer.com Jeff Larentovich expects more to come, from goal hero Ezekiel Barco, who opened his MLS account to help guide Atlanta United to a 2-1 victory over the Chicago Fire and into the outright lead in the supporters. Shield as the season enters its third month Brad Guzon playing key role in Atlanta's defensive renaissance, MLSsoccer.com Brad Guzon's first outing in his native Chicago since his return to MLS last year ended with victory and his all-conquering Atlanta United team atop the supporters' shield standings. Guzon was in strong form, producing three saves, and marshalling his back line superbly as United stretched their unbeaten run to eight games, their 7-1-1 record giving them a two-point lead in the shield race. Armchair Analyst, Seattle Slide, RBNY Run Riot Since we've just rounded the quarter pole on the 2018 MLS season, now's as good a time as any to give a look at everything that happened over the previous 48 hours. United States Setting the Table, Week 9, American Soccer Analysis Welcome to Setting the Table, where each week we take some time to focus on the best chance creators in MLS from the last weekend. If you want to see the best chances that were wasted, check out Lowered Expectations. This is where we focus on chances that ended with the ball in the back of the net. How 106 American soccer players abroad fared this weekend, the Washington Post of note, several players competing in lesser leagues or with reserve, youth squads are not listed. Americans with dual nationalities representing other national teams have also been omitted. World Lionel Messi put pressure on referee at halftime of Clasico, Sergio Ramos Sergio Ramos believes Clasico referee Alejandro Jose Hernandez Hernandez gave in to pressure put on him by Lionel Messi as Barcelona and Real Madrid played out a thrilling 2-2 draw on Sunday. Stokes Jack Butland calls out unreliable, ill-disciplined teammates after relegation Jack Butland has described some Stoke City players as ill-disciplined who manager Paul Lambert couldn't rely on, while calling the relegated club's transfer. Moves, farcical, Stokes' demotion to the championship was confirmed on Saturday when they lost 2-1 to Crystal Palace, with Lambert unable to save them after he replaced Mark Hughes in January. Mario Balotelli launches tirade at French referees may have played last nice game Mario Balotelli may have played his last game for nice after he was caught on camera launching a tirade at French referees. Balotelli is out of contract at the end of the season, and any ban he has to serve would carry over to a new club.